Hi guys, welcome back. Um, we are here in Golden Ears where we're gonna follow along the Mike Lake Trail. We didn't actually intend on coming here, but we took a wrong turn and it's absolutely beautiful. So here we go. <laughs> Maple Ridge, along with many nearby municipalities, make up Metro Vancouver. Bordering the Pacific Ocean, beautiful mountain ranges, and densely green landscapes, these cities are filled with beautiful trails. It is also home to an incredibly diverse array of wildlife and ecosystems. Well, now that the spring rains have come and the summer sun is out, we have a beautiful blanket of green on pretty much everything. So the weather is stunning, which means the people are out, the birds are out, and the bugs are out. If you don't feel like going for a walk, this stunning lake is also popular for freshwater fishing. The dock gives a perfect place to sit down and simply enjoy your surroundings while hoping to make a catch. For those interested, this lake is stocked with rainbow trout twice a year, in the spring and fall, by the Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC. Just below the dock, we spotted in the water what we believe to be a rough-skinned newt, a type of salamander characterized mainly by the lighter belly color. These little creatures spend most of their time on land, but return to spend substantial amounts of time in the water during their mating season. During mating season, the skin of the adult male newt becomes smooth, slippery, and lighter in color. They also develop a puffy body and a large tail fin, something we can see in the newts we spotted. This newt has a varied diet, feeding upon snails, spiders, worms, and plenty of insects. 
helping in the effort to control pest populations, such as mosquitoes. They are also an important food source in the ecosystem, commonly being preyed upon by common garter snakes. These beautiful salamanders are vulnerable to habitat loss and are frequently killed on roads while migrating for their breeding season. Another animal spotted at the lake is this great blue heron. These large birds will eat nearly anything within striking distance, including fish, insects, small mammals, other birds, and most likely the newts we just met. Interestingly, these birds have benefited greatly from the recovery of beaver populations. As the beavers create dams and reduce the flow of water, they create swampy and marshy areas, perfectly suited to herons. As you can see, the area is full of an abundance of plant and animal life. So it's no surprise that this forest and lake are the traditional hunting and fishing grounds for the Catesy First Nations and the Douglas Lillooet First Nations. There are actually two ways to get to Mike Lake. You can drive directly there, taking the road we accidentally turned down at the beginning of the video, parking near the lakefront. From there, you can walk the beautiful perimeter of the lake, which is about two kilometers. But, if you're looking for a more challenging path, you can hike in. This turns the small lake trail into a longer route, closer to 12 kilometers in length. Along the trail, I notice this tree that almost looks to have a face on it. While I have no idea why this may occur, I've noticed it a few times throughout other episodes. See if you can spot them.
with such a beautiful landscape. Mike Lake makes for an easy retreat for anyone wanting to get outside and reconnect with nature. Being so close to Maple Ridge, it's a wonderful spot for a stroll after work or a simple weekend picnic. After an easy stroll around the lake, you can always dip your toes in the water off the dock and cool off. As the area directly borders Malcolm Knapp Research Forest, you can see many similarities with the environment. Mike Lake's forest is predominantly made up of western hemlock, western red cedar, and Douglas fir. Along the Mike Lake Trail, you'll come across a fork in the road where you have to make sure to turn right and into the forest to stay on trail. Otherwise, you'll end up back in Malcolm Knapp, where we were on previous episodes.
sure they amplify. Let's go in it. The history of Mike Lake ties directly to the city and the surrounding areas. Going back to the 1920s, Mike Lake was a camp for loggers. At its peak, the area was home to around 600 people. At the time, this area was being logged by the Abernathy and Lohi Logging Company. For anyone local to Maple Ridge, you may notice those names are familiar. While ingrained in local history in many ways, they are also the names of prominent streets throughout the city. In the 1920s, their logging company was one of the largest railway logging companies in the entire province. The company had leased approximately 25,000 acres of forest, spanning across what is now Malcolm Knapp Research Forest and Golden Ears Provincial Park. If you recall our episode in Malcolm Knapp, this is actually the same company that had logged much of their old growth forests. Interestingly, this company was one of the first in BC to provide a metal bunk and bedding to all its employees and also to introduce the eight hour workday. However, the company eventually went bankrupt after depleting the old growth forests and being substantially impacted by the Great Depression.
the Abernathy and Lohi Logging Company ended up removing its 88 kilometers of private railway as the area around Mike Lake was abandoned. Eventually, a fire struck in 1931, destroying much of the area, including some of their infrastructure. Ultimately ending the logging in the area. Today, the forests have regrown and wildlife has returned to the area, displaying the stunning scenery that can be found there for anyone hiking or fishing. Thank you for joining us on our walk around Mike Lake. It's only about two kilometers long, maybe take you half an hour to 45 minutes and some stunning views along the way. Join us next time.